Welcome back to Bluegrass this beautiful April afternoon. Today we're asking a question that we get all the time, which is, hey Stoney, does everyone in my family have to use the same commands, okay? Well, number one, around here, we don't really look at our initial dog training uh, vocabulary much in the way of actually being a commands, right? I mean, because something's not a command until you can enforce it and expect it to be done, uh, you know, with reliability, okay? And that takes a while in dog training, you know. So a lot of these young puppies here, when we tell them to do stuff, we would like for it to be commands, but it's really kind of more suggestions for a while, okay? Now, uh, I've got uh, my daughter uh, and my son behind me, right, okay, to illustrate the fact that even people that are 100% trying their best to use the same system and the same vocabulary, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sound a little different, right, it's going to look a little different, okay. Uh, I don't know if where you're from they say this, but around here moms say when you're young, it's not what you say, but it's how you say it. Okay, so we all use the same vocabulary, which is come, let's go, hup, easy, wait, and stay. Okay, but what's really important is how we say it, the vocal inflection that we use and the posture. But can you see all three of us, cameraman? All right, I want you to notice right off the bat, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very small person, you know, and my daughter, she's a very small person. George is actually just a normal sized person, but he looks really big compared to us because we're so small. And so, like, I use a lot of vocal inflection, a lot of posture, and a lot of energy to encourage the dogs. Charlotte's full of energy, but like, her posture when it comes to saying no, or her ability to project power is pretty low. George is a man of few words, so try, as much as I've tried to get him to go, oh, hey, come on dogs, you're fine animals, you're good dogs. He just ain't, that's not him. He's one command, one behavior kind of guy, you know? Like, it's funny how, like, people are just who they are just like these dogs you know George is who he is and Parker's who he is and Freckles is who he is right but we can all like head in the same direction even though we're not all taking the exact uh, same path right so as I take off I'm gonna say hey let's go you know Charlotte how are you gonna say let's go Am I yeah so Charlotte's gonna say it's gonna sound a little bit more high-pitched and then when George says it it's gonna sound a little bit more like a command Right? I'm like, hey, let's go. Come on, let's go for a walk. Charlotte's like, let's go. You know, and George is like, let's go. You know, <laughs> like he's taking you off to the squad car or something, you know. <laughs> like, <sighs> so like I'm coming up here and I'll be like, hop, 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 hop. Good dog. You see that vocal inflection? I build them up to energy level. Oh, Charlotte, how do you do it? You see? Hop, 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 hop. And then George? Hop, 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 hop. You know, like monotone kind of. And I tried, and that's George really putting all of his personality in it, you know? Like he just, that's who he is. He's a, he's a do it because I said so kind of guy, right? I'm a do it with me kind of guy. And Charlotte is like, oh, please, please, please do it kind of girl, okay? So do you have to, you know, have everyone in your family say exactly the same thing? No, of course not. Do you want everyone in your family to try their best to say things using the same basic uh, rules related to, you know, uh, vocal inflection, stay, and posture? Uh, yes, of course, okay? So what I tell my children is it's not so much what you say, but it's how you say it. Now notice when I told George to sit, he sat right down and gave me zero problems because I've got a little bit of that get in the squad car in me too and the dogs kind of know it, right? And I just do a good job of being a fun, upbeat camp counselor kind of guy, right? Uh, George is working with a little younger dog and so he's having to use a few extra treats. But notice what George is not doing. He's not repeating himself a lot. He's just like he knows it's going to take how long it takes to get the dog to sit and stay. And then when you watch Charlotte with Parker, what did she do? She's like a kindergarten teacher. Okay buddy, sit. You can do it, you know. And Okay. Is that how you think about it? Right? So like we have a thing now where we call it Bluegrass Puppy Montessori uh, because Charlotte helps run that. She teaches lessons to little kids and like, you know, I let everybody be the best that they can be. So in your family, just get everybody out, get them moving, get them doing interesting things. The most important thing is that they are consistently interacting with the dog. And if you're interacting with the dog and you're being a fun and interesting person, the training will take care of itself. Even if there's slight variations in your particular uh, choice of cues or commands. And uh, even though there's slight variations in terms of your physical presence, your vocal inflection, uh, and your ability to use your posture to influence your dogs. All right, I'll see you guys next week.